What's up guys, it's Seb here from Wolfview and in today's video, I'm gonna showing you everything you need to know on how to create your TikTok pixels so you can start tracking conversions easily. Now jumping right into it, I always recommend everyone to go ahead and download and install the TikTok Pixel Helper on Google Chrome. Essentially what this does is it just gives you an indication whether your pixels are active on the pages that you've set them to. It's a great way just to make sure that everything is working. Now you will be able to install this within the TikTok.com ads manager, but I always recommend everyone to do it beforehand just so you make sure that you haven't got any problems whatsoever. So the link to that will be in the description down below. But enough of that, let's jump right into the TikTok pixel creation process. So first off, head over to ads.tiktok.com and then you wanna hover over the assets and then click on events. From here, you're gonna have two options. You're gonna have app events and web events. Now I'm gonna take a little guess and assume that most of you are wanting to put pixels on your websites. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the manage button and then from here, you'll see a nice little button right here that says create pixel. Now this will appear if you haven't created a pixel yet. If you have, then the button will appear here so you can create a new one. Go ahead and click on create pixel, then you wanna give it a name. So because I'm gonna be targeting a lead magnet, I wanna add pixels to my lead magnet opt-in page and then my lead magnet thank you page. You can see that it's the ultimate 100K blueprint. So I'm gonna copy this right here and I'm gonna use that as my name so I know what, what it is. Now from here, you have two different options. You have the TikTok Pixel and the Events API. So go ahead and click on TikTok Pixel because that's what we want to be doing. And then now you have two options. You've got manual install pixel code or automatically set up web events via partnered platforms. So it really does depend on what platforms you're using. I recommend clicking on the automatic one, press next and see if you have your platform on here. Now, if you have, go ahead and do this because the setup will be fairly straightforward. It takes a little bit longer, I think, than actually doing it in manual mode, but you'll just make sure that everything is in working order because they'll do it for you. But for this one, we're gonna be doing a manual installed pixel code so we can link this to any website or any page we want super easily. So from here, we're gonna click on next. Now from here, you have the option for event builder and then custom code. Now custom code is a little bit more complicated and you will need developer support for this. Whereas event builder is just really easy. You just have to put in a few links and then you're pretty much good to go. So from here, we're gonna press next and now it's gonna take us to this part of the TikTok pixel creation. So essentially what we're gonna do is copy our pixel code to the website or web pages we want to have our pixels on. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the copy and now we want to have it on our capture page as well as our thank you page. So I'm click on edit page. It's gonna take me to the website builder so I can customize my opt-in page or my thank you page. And then I'm gonna head over to settings, then go on tracking code and then make sure you're on the header. And then you just wanna paste that in, press save, and then save again. Do the exact same thing on the thank you page. So header, paste it in, press save and save again. Now, as you can see, we have our TikTok pixel helper and you can see that zero pixels have been found. Now this is because I haven't refreshed the page. Essentially what this does is once you refresh it, boom, you can see that we've now added our pixel. The same thing here, if we refresh it, you can see our pixel has now been added. So that's all well and good. We've now added the pixels to the page, but now we have to configure it. So from here, what I like to do is just enable the automatic advanced matching because that just makes it match our data with their data. And then we're gonna press next once more. And then here we have to do the configuration. So here you'll create your events track actions. So to be completely honest, I wouldn't really mess around with click events because that's just more complicated than it needs to be. I always recommend the URL events because essentially all you have to do is copy the path of your URL. So you can see that this is the opt-in page. So it's demo.wolfio.io, that's the URL. Then the path of this is a 100K course blueprint. And the path of the thank you page is thank you page blueprint. So essentially, we're just gonna be using these paths and then that's gonna track our events. So enter URL custom keyword. From here, you're gonna do your destination URL. So our first one is going to be the opt-in page. Okay, and then the events type, what we can do is select whichever one best applies to you. So for us, we just wanna do view content because it's just the opt-in. 
And then from here, we can enter our value as zero because we don't, we're not selling anything. This is a free lead magnet. And then the static type, we want to have it as once because we don't want to be tracking it every single time that the same person opts in for whatever reason. Say they opted in four times because they stumbled across the video four different times and they opted in for the same thing four times. We don't want to track that. So we're going to do that as once. And then that's our initial one set up. And now we want to add another one on our thank you page just to see that they have converted to actually sign up with this lead magnet. So we're going to enter in the path again. So this is for the thank you page and then events type. We can just select whichever one it is. So complete registration. And then from here, all we have to do is click on complete setup and then you're all good to go. You've now set up your TikTok pixel. It's been configurated. One last thing before we finish the video, if you did want to do some extra tests, you can click on the test events from here. And then what you want to do is enter the URL of your initial page here, your first one, paste that in there and then at generate code. And then you want to take your phone, you want to scan it. And then what that's going to do is track the event activity right on this page right here for you to see so you can make sure that everything is working. But there you go, that's how to easily create your TikTok pixel and then also be able to track your conversions manually. I hope this video did help you out and if it did, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video.